Hey, it's Crockett here, and this is a hybrid test to measure the color accuracy as well as the difference in diffusion in our new lighting smarter, light smarter, uh, light modifier system. We are using two Cool Lux one by one LED panels. These are the bicolor version. Also, they are the flood version, not the spot version. I have brought out my super accurate flash meters that is actually one of the master meters by Sekonic, thanks so much. And in fact, one of the cool things about this meter is that not only does it read out in tenths of an f-stop, but it actually reads out in thousandths <laughs> of an f-stop. Can you believe that? Have you ever seen a exposure meter that reads f28.000? Yeah, that's right, that's Crockett. Okay, here's what we got going on. We are at ISO 1000 on a GH3 using the natural mode for color. Our color temperature is set a little warm on purpose. I do have our magenta green biased totally nailed out so that we are nice and clean with color. The color that you're hearing is uh, also really slick. It's from the Sennheiser directional shotgun microphone. And as you can tell, we're at a 60th of a second F28.0. Zero, zero. Now, in order to get an accurate color read, I'm gonna bring this up here and it's of course gonna be in focus. And what I wanna do is I wanna change only one thing, right? The best way to change, to make a test, is to change only one item at a time. So I'm gonna stop the camera right now and I'm gonna have Louis take our full diffusion material off of the light source and I'm gonna put on the next one down. So it's going to be thinner. And it's going to have a little more highlight information, right? So Louis, go ahead and stop. This is with the number three of four. So this is less diffusion. So it should have a little higher specularity value. We did adjust the power output of the Cool Lux. So we're not changing the aperture. We're not changing the shutter speed. We're just changing the output power. And of course, still measuring the color to make sure that that color stays the same. And because it's Cool Lux, color is staying the same. It's all looking good. Let's go down one more layer of diffusion to a thinner layer of diffusion and see what we get. We're now on diffusion number three of four. So now these are getting thinner every time we go. So each time we change the diffusion, it's getting thinner. And of course, a thinner diffusion means two things. It's gonna allow more light to go through, therefore it's going to be brighter. So we're turning down the power on our Coolux lights in order to compensate for that because we don't wanna make any changes on the camera. We're also seeing that we're going to pick up a little more specular shine, right? A little more shine on our subject. Now, we may see some change in color. Why? Well, it's a different fabric and different fabrics are going to have different colors. As light passes through them, of course, as light passes through any diffusing material, the color temperature will go down. Well, we don't know what this fabric is made of compared to the other ones. It may actually change the color significantly. So let's get another shot at the color card. And let's go to the final, the final version of our thinnest diffuser, which looks kind of like this. Oh. Now we're at the thinnest diffusion that we have. These have all been three foot by four foot diffusers. This is by far the thinnest one, and it has, of course, very bright highlights. Now, how much difference have we seen in density, if you will, the brightness between one and two and three and four? Well, when we went to one, and one is the thickest diffusion, you think that would be the softest, right? Well, the term soft really isn't the right word. It's least specular, right? Least specular. And when we went from number four being the least specular down to number three, we picked up three tenths of an f-stop of brightness. So we turned down the power three tenths.
Well, then we went from number two to number three. It again was then thinner. It was less specular. And we lost six tenths of an f-stop. So we went down another six tenths on the power settings of our two cool lux LEDs. Then, of course, finally, this one here, we lost another two tenths of an f stop of light. So, we picked up as we went along with our meter, we changed nothing but the diffusion material. And you'll notice that we've got quite a difference between this look and the other look. Now, there is one other thing that we should address as long as we're talking about this. The changes that you're seeing on screen are not nearly as dramatic as if we were to shoot, say for instance, transparency film. Why? Well, one of the things that the Lumix GH3 and the Lumix GH4 cameras do extremely well is adjust to their automatic dynamic range. When a Lumix camera in particular notices that there's a face involved, it knows there's going to be a specular highlight area. It knows there's going to be a shadow area. In fact, and it knows it's going to have a couple of eyes there that it's going to have its primary focus on. Well, the internal processor on the Lumix camera does such a phenomenal job of knowing when there's a face in the shot that it's going to adjust the dynamic range of its sensor and its processor in order to make sure the highlights and the midtones and the shadows remain usable, meaning well within the range of that camera. So, can we turn off the dynamic range? We certainly can. In this case, we didn't. We left it on full blast, meaning the eye dynamic function of this camera was set to its highest setting, whereas typically where I shoot. And the reason we're doing this test is for our Creative Live program coming up. And in order to make sure we get the best results possible, we're going to be using the maximum settings for the eye dynamic. That's going to be set to high. So I wanted to mess around to see with what we've got, what we don't have. One last thing, if you are trying to perform this test at home, please do. You will notice that on our LEDs, we've got a layer of diffusion called spun, called well, actually, this is one half spun. So I'll show you a couple of little B-roll shots. We'll get this posted up. You get a chance to review it for yourself, right? Thanks so much. Bye. All right, sir.